here. It's got all the ingredients, hasn't it? And it's our main feature today on EA TV. Join us soon. Here we are, everybody, up in Newcastle. Alan Smith has joined me. We're at St James's Park for this very intriguing fixture today. So uh, here we are, Newcastle and Sunderland, Alan. Well, not a lot more needs to be said. It's uh, always a tie that's full of passion and emotion. No different here. Well, confirmation, as if it's needed, really. Everyone knows now, don't they, that the league title has been decided. The match will be played. But the big event of the day, Alan's going to be the presentation. Yeah, exactly. I mean, we've seen so many performances that got them to the top of the table. We might not quite see the intensity of those previous displays, but I think you can forgive them for that. Newcastle United hoping that they can reach the same heights again as they did in their away win against Crystal Palace. Yeah, I mean, 5-2 is impressive in anybody's language, Martin, and uh, I think they can follow it up with another win here. Newcastle United's lineup. Gianluigi Donnarumma is the goalkeeper. Deandre Yedlin plays with Manquillo as the wide defenders. We'll see how the striking option works with just one up front. This is the Sunderland team for you today. Antonio Luna starts despite looking shaky in recent games. The Catamol starts. He returns from suspension. So a couple of strikers for them at the front end of the team. to this game as Newcastle get it underway. Coming on strong and looking to play their way through now. He's got his shot off now. Wonderful save. Had to really reach out for that. On the move and able to cut out the pass. And in he goes with the tackle. He saw the look from the other player and saw where the pass was going. And read it. Catamol. Strong challenge. Lee Catamon. Luna. Maybe the counter attack is on here. Now, this is an interesting attack. the chance to go into the lead now that is the first goal and it could be the one that actually shapes the destiny of the day and has he hit a harder shot than that today but to find the bottom right that's brilliant you can see a slightly different viewpoint on it It's been tight before that goal, but now the manager, he's so pleased because I reckon he feels his team can go on and win this. So it's Newcastle United in front. Newcastle United goal! Lee Cantamar. Number five, Timo Bakioko. Oh, he's cut that out well, well read. They could 
post in danger now. To bring them level. Could make a chance with this tackle. Got to keep his nerve here. He's had a go here. It comes out off the goalkeeper. Good play until they got that challenge in. Happy miss on Gilly Bodji. Rashford. Here's a chance to attack. You can see the deflection there. Corner. That's a fine goal. Well, we can see it again here. Well, I'd love to see this one again. He's absolutely loped it into the bottom right-hand corner. What a finish from him. He's put in the corner. Well, no scraps for the attackers to feed on from the goalkeeper that time. Hung on to the ball well. Now they've got a chance in this part of the pitch. Just read the intentions of the opposition there to make the interception. And now they've lost it. And could be routine for the keeper. Newcastle's lead being threatened here a little bit. I must say they have got another gear or two to go to. And Maybe when the break is definitely on. And it's a shot now. Oh, what a miss. Well, what a chance for an equaliser that was. And I think the tension got to him, tightened up. This looks promising. Neatly intercepted. I don't know whether the managers told them to do this, but they're just defending deep and saying to the opposition, you can have the ball, you're not going to hurt us. Oh, he's through. Put into the middle. It's wonderful work from the goalkeeper again from the header. Well, he was on his toes, he was very fit. Good stop. That's half time. Signaled by the referee. 1 0 the half time score. Well, the player that we're featuring here has done well. He's certainly been an influence on this first half. Well, he played really well, didn't he? And he got himself a goal to put his team ahead. He'll be pleased with that first 45 minutes. Now the second period, the second half is underway. Lee Catamol. Catamol moving forward with some danger to the opposition. Now they're here. Quick witted and quick in his movement too to intercept there. And he could get away here. It's a big moment for them in the match. They've pushed their lead now to two ahead. They played well to this point, but sometimes a two-goal lead can be a dangerous one. We'll see. And the shot really rasping into the back of the net, just under the bar. Well, they look spectacular when they do that, and uh, as well as the keeper did to get close to it, couldn't get a hand on it. do need an injection of uh, fresh enthusiasm from the bench. Restarting at 2-0. Kone. Luna. Well, they're in a good position here. Got the opposition backpedalling a little bit. Letting the shot go! 
Plenty of power, but not too much direction. Two new players ready to come on. Newcastle on the attack. On the move and able to cut out the pass. Luna. He stumbled a bit there, but has managed to stay on his feet. Chance from the pass. Now it's offside. Well, they're still trailing and they need to do something now if they want to get back into this game. Maybe some fresh legs will do the trick. Substitution for Newcastle United coming off the pitch at 39, Mancula. Coming onto the pitch, number 18, Chelsea and Bamba. read the intentions of the opposition there to make the interception. I'll put this match in your diary, EA Sports presentation of the Champions Cup fixture, Newcastle United, they'll be facing Spurs away from home. Yeah, high quality fixture this one, there won't be much quarter given. Really getting at the opposition, we could be in. United punished by the referee. Oh, will this change it? He's got sent off. Everything seemed to be under their control, but now they've given the opposition a chance to get back into this. Well, his teammates will not be thanking him at the end of this game because they've got to work doubly hard now to try and hold on to this lead. Now Atsu. On the attack here. The shot's on! And that's straightforward for a goalkeeper of this calibre. looking for some support well they've got to chase back because with the turnover in possession they could be vulnerable not going to be one of those nearly games for Newcastle United I don't think they are going to get the win that their general level of performance merits in this game it's looking good this move Can whip it in now Still time if they can get this goal. Bounce back off the post. Oh, very easy for the goalkeeper there. They should win now, shouldn't they? 2 0 here, not much time to go. What impact will that have on the next game? Well, Newcastle United go up against Spurs. And they have played well, they've struck the ball around, and uh, they'll be hoping to continue that. And the board shows three added minutes. A real chance here. The referee's given them a free kick. In a real position of some danger to the opposition. Takes on the shot. Went for goal from optimistic distance and nearly found it. Yeah, it's a good effort. I think the keeper would have had it, though.
relevant because already they knew they'd clinch the title. Everyone in the ground, including the players, waiting for the presentation to reward this outstanding season from an outstanding team. Yeah, it's been a party atmosphere, hasn't it, really, from start to finish. I've experienced it myself in 91 when we played Manchester United. But uh, it doesn't taste any less sweet for those lads down there. And they've enjoyed the game, but really, most of all, they've enjoyed the season. They have been superb, undoubtedly the outstanding team. Well, I think so. Sometimes when their rivals faltered, they kept their eyes fixed firmly on the target and they really did stick together. They had injuries, one or two suspensions, but they kept picking up the results. And now they are about to pick up what it's all about. They are the champions. Oh, wonderful scenes. Scenes and moments they will never forget. You look back in 20 years' time and you'll think about this day. To share it with the supporters. They've had a great bond. Great travelling fans, as well as the, uh, the home followers. They certainly haven't been without the backing that every team needs to go week in, week out in this most demanding of leagues. Great occasion here. Had time to set it all up knowing that this presentation day would take place. It didn't depend on the result of the match. And together with the trophy, 